So what is going on everybody? This is Jack Green and today we're going to learn how to play Bigger Boys and Stones with us ba 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 by Arctic Monkeys. Uh, that was the second most voted song on my last trophy. And apparently the door is ringing. Where was I? I don't remember. Let's go on and cut with shit and take a look to the introduction. Which sounds like... I'm sorry if it's not 100% smooth, but I literally lent this song uh, in a watch two hour and a half ago, so I was really, really anxious to uh, present the lesson to you and I didn't have that much time to prepare myself, but the notes are fine and the song I'm going to teach you is completely fine, I'm just not 100% smooth playing it. So, without wasting other time, let's take a look to the chords you should be playing. The 7th fret on the D string, 6th fret on the G, 5th fret on E and B, like this. Your point finger will be playing the 5th fret both on E and B and your pinky is going to be on the 7th fret of the E. So this is the chord. You have to play it for 3 times rapidly one after the other and doing down, up, down stroke. Like this. But when you do it you have to be really careful in not picking the A string otherwise you will have something like which sucks. So like this. After you have done this, you simply go to the second chord by lifting your pinky and you will have the 5th fret uh, on the E and B string picked by your point finger and you will going to have the second chord. To have the third one, you just have to put your point finger on the 5th fret of the E string and your pinky on the 7th fret of the B string. To have the final chord, you just have to go back to the second one. So point finger will be playing again 5th fret on E and B string. So we are going to have something like this. From this position you slide down to the 2nd fret. And you play it for twice and then from this position you slide down to 1 fret. And you play it again. So. This is going to be the introduction and should be played for four times. After you have played this, we're going to go to the verse, which is really, really simple because the chords you're going to play are just the last three chords of the, um, of the introduction. So, you're going to have this one, point finger on fifth of B and E, ring finger on the 6th fret of the G and ring finger on the 7th fret of the D. So you're gonna play with this rhythm. So you play it 3 times and then you play it again before sliding down to the 2nd fret and playing it for twice. After you played it for twice, you go back to the 1st fret and you play for three times like that and then you do two muted stroke, one up and one down. So the strumming should be like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Or... So after you have played the, um, part one for four times, which is basically the verse, we will have an interlude where you basically play chord by chord um, just one single stroke and if you want you can go and do another muted stroke right after. The chords are pretty popular. We have the first one which is the E chord. Open E string, second fret on D and A. First fret on the G, open B and E. Then you have sharp F. Uh, point finger on all the strings on the second fret ring finger and pinky on the 4th fret of D and A and middle finger on the 3rd fret of G. Then we're going to play a power chord 
which is point finger on the 5th fret of the A, ring finger and pinky on the 7th fret of D and G. And the last chord that we are going to play is the F chord, point finger on all the strings of the 1st fret, ring finger and pinky on the 3rd fret of A and D, and middle finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. So this is going to be the interlude. After you have done this, we are going to the uh, chorus, which is kind of easy because you just have to play two chords. The first one is going to be the A chord with the bari, so point finger will be on the 5th fret of all the strings, ring finger and pinky on the 7th fret of A and D, and middle finger on the 6th fret of the G. And the chorus will have a rhythmic part, let's say a strumming pattern like this. Never mind, that was just the funky me coming out of my hands. So, after you have played the chorus for other four times, we are going back to the verse. Um, the verse is going to start exactly like this. And you're going to play it for four times. But a little bit of a peculiarity, pop, peculiarity of the this verse is that you are not supposed to play the very first chord. So you are going to wait the very first time of the very first verse you are going to play after the chorus and then you are going right after two. If you listen to the song this will be extra extra clear. The song goes on pretty much with the same, with the exact same structure we have seen. So we have Recapping an intro for four times, a verse or a part one for four times, we have an interlude of single chords, we have four times of chorus, and then we have again part one for four times, interlude, part two or chorus for four times. Then we are going to go to the tough part, the solo. This one could look a little bit complicated, and it kinda sounded complicated uh, for me when I try to learn it by ear because sometimes it's like the solo is trying to go faster than the actual song but if you're trying to learn this keep calm call the doctor keep calm because it's really easy you just have to focus start by playing it slowly on your own and then when you got it you try to go at rhythm with the song it's really difficult for me to teach the out of rhythm part but I will try my best in order to let you win this solo and play it correctly so let's go on and take a look it's going to go like this Supposedly uh, slowed down so you can start to understand what's going on. Before this solo, we have a little bit of an interlude to the solo, which is 5th fret on the E, 7th fret on the A, twice the 5th fret on the D, 7th on the A, then you slide down until you just remove your hand from the keyboard, and then you play for twice the 2nd fret on the E three times the first fret on the E, like this, so. And you do it again. But instead of sliding down, we're going to start the actual solo, which should go like this. Fifth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the A, 
fifth and seven on the D, fifth and seven on the G, again, then you bend the seventh fret and you release seventh fret on the G and you play the fifth fret on the G, so like this. Then you play it again, seven, five, seven, and you bend it again. Like this. After you have done this, you play the seventh fret on the D. Then you do one hammer on, so you play from the fifth to the seventh fret on the D without picking again. Then you play 7th, 5th and 7th on the G and you bend it again, so like... and you go back to the 5th. After you have gone to the 5th fret of the G string, you are going to do this really quickly. So, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7... So you do 7, 5, 7, 5, 7... 7, 5, 4, twice, then 7, always on the G, and then you slide up to the 9th fret and play it for 3 times. 7th fret again, and 5th fret again. So this is going to be the solo up to now. After you have done this, you are going to play the 7th fret on the D string, 5th, 7th, and 5th on the G, 7th on the D, 5th on the G, and 7th on the G, like this. After you have gone to the 7th on the G, you are going to slide on the 9th, then you play the 8th on the B, 9th on the G, 8th on the B, 10th on the B, then you go 8th on the B, 9, 7, 5th on the G. I know that's a mess. Let's repeat the solo up to now again. I think that repetition right now is really useful for you. Again, seven, fifth, seven, and you slide up to nine, and you play it for twice after you have played the first time. So twice the seventh on the G, twice the fifth on the G, twice the seventh on the G, and then you do this fifth on the D. 7th on the G, 7th on the D, 5th on the G, there you go, 7th on the A, 5th on the A, then you go 8th on the E, and 5th on the E. I'm going to repeat it again, super slowly, super close, and I hope this will help you definitely, definitely, definitely.
actually work? I don't know. I, I tried my best and I hope that was enough, frankly. So, after you have played the solo, we're going to go back to our verse, but we are going to play really, really, really softly, so like this. For four times. After we, ha we have played this for four times, we will go back to our interlude that should be played for twice. The first time normally. And the second time is going to be played like play, stop, play, stop, play, stop, like this. And the last chord is going to be played like this. Then again, down up, down up, really fast. So let's repeat this part of the interlude. The first time you play it normally, the second time you play like playing and stop right after, like this. final what we will have we will have pretty much the chorus played for eight times but the very first three times you will have this played normally so like it's just a and D after you have played it for three times we will go on and play it for other five times but this time you will do a then D like this so you play it for four times and then you switch to D minor. So ring finger and pinky will be on the seventh fret of G and D string, ring finger will be on the sixth fret of the B. So up like this. So guys, this was Bigger Boys and Solo Sweetheart. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and um, yes, now I'm going back with the videos. I took a week out because I was sick and uh, for the most part of the reason it, because it was Easter. So I had some things to do but now we are going back again. So I'm preparing both the Q&A. So if you want to ask more questions for the next Q&A, you are still on time. Please vote under the um, straw poll to know which one will be the next lesson, even though my next playing uh, will surely be a uh, cover, but I'm getting ready for the next, next week, so we are talking about two or three weeks later than now. Give me feedback, tomorrow is my birthday, so please like, comment and do whatever you want. Let's grow, guys. Let's like the Facebook page, let's be a community because I really care about you and I really care about what you think and what you still have to give me and above all else what still I, I have to give to you. So that's everything for now, I have said everything I had, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you next time. Peace.